<laughs> it is so good to be here with Attila, with Victor, with Zita Gurmai, the leader of PS Women, and with all of you. I'm here to express my solidarity, my admiration, my respect for your fight. And I can tell you that all European Social Democrats know that the Modior Socialista part is the body of the democratic opposition in Hungary. And here in Budapest, there are almost 200 PS activists from all over Europe to express our solidarity with you. Stand up, show yourself. You are not alone. You are at the forefront of our common fight for fairer, better Europe. Almost for three years now, we have a Fidesz government in Hungary. We have Viktor Orban in power. They're speaking about some kind of a revolution they're leading, but they will never tell you what they are revolting against. Are they revolting against your jobs? Yes. Are they revolting against your access to education? Yes. Are they revolting against the fundal, fundamental rights of every Hungarian to decide what is better for his or her country? Yes. There is nothing more dangerous than a populist in power who pretends to express the needs of the people, but does nothing for the people. <laughs> Viktor Orban does not understand democracy. For him, democracy is about control. He is like a steam cooker who is concentrating more and more powers in his own hands. And the amendments to the constitutions which are to be voted are a scandalous example of such policy. And I respect the Hungarian Socialist Party for being so clear and opposing it. I am also here to support Attila Mesterhazy and his team. Attila is a young leader, but a strong leader. He managed to unite and to, and to reinvigorate the Hungarian Socialist Party. And he has the courage to stand up and to defend his principles, free and fair elections, freedom of association and media, and any fairness in the country. And I know that Attila also has a vision about Hungary, which can do better than today, with a predictable and solid economic policy, a policy based on truth about the real problems and challenges, a policy based on dialogue and courage to overcome the problems of the country and of the people. And Attila, on behalf of all European socialists, I wish you good luck in your struggle. I know. Today, Viktor Orban believes that his power has no limits. He believes that he and Fidesz can do anything they want. But I will tell you, they are wrong. We have one like him in my country, in Bulgaria. His name is Borisov. He looked so bulletproof, so rock stable in the polls and in the media. But he failed the expectations of the people and uh, failed the country. And the Bulgarian people went out on the streets and swept his government away two weeks ago. This is the destiny of any authoritarian politician in the end. In the end, I want to tell you that in 2014, we have a big mission. This mission is to provide a better, fairer future for Hungary and a better future for Europe, to bring back Europe to the citizens. Good luck to you.
and on to your victory. Köszönöm.